Hello, hello, I'm Chris, and welcome back to more Satisfactory. So last time I made this big ugly box. And we're going to use this box to uh, expand the factory a bit. And between episodes, I came to the realization that it would not be big enough. Um, so what I did was I added some more overhanging floor space. And I'm just going to cut out some walls here while I explain what I'm trying to do. So at the very top, we have room, like just enough room put all of our smelters for our iron so that's what i want to do today i want to get the smelting system up and running uh, i was on the fence about whether i wanted to get the factory working or do some decoration but i think it'll be easier to decorate once the machines are in place uh, because space is going to be it's still going to be tight like uh this is an eight by twelve and there's just enough room to fit all the smelters for the iron. Because we have four pure nodes, and each of those is going to need... Um, nine... Nine smelters, I think, is what we can handle per belt. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to place down a line to kind of see where I'm at. That should leave me with enough room for... For some logistics, so that's what I'm going to do. So that should help me line things up. Because I have an idea of how I want this to go. Uh, so we need... Melters. I think I'm just going to squeeze them all next to each other, right? Or do I want to space... I might want to space them out. I think I want to space them out. Yeah, I'll space them out just a little bit. So these are our outputs right down the center line here. And then... Uh, inputs are on either side. And this is all going to be hidden down below. So once we have all the uh, conveyor floor holes in place, what we're going to do is we're going to take our Mark 1 lifts, target the floor hole, and attach it. And I'm just going to do this for all the inputs and outputs. Oh, one thing, make sure you're pointing your um, conveyors in the right direction. Make sure your arrows are both pointing the same way, because otherwise your uh, your conveyors are not going to go and the, they're not going to deliver the resources they need to. All right, now with all the smelters in place... Uh, we can go down below and we can see what that's going to look like. So we have all of these. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to bring down all these guys. They're going to be broken up into groups of three. Because that's how we can most evenly split them. And they should be lined up so that they're all 90 degree turns into the splitters. And you need a Mark II belt to connect each of the uh, the little nodes including one right here, and then uh, going into here will be a Mark III belt. And then I'm not sure exactly which way I'm going to take this, but what we're going to do is um, we're going to put another merger right here, and then it'll either come in between here or in between here and merge everything up. So that's our first one done. Let's do the other ones. All right, so the splitters are the easy ones to figure out because there's only really one way they go together because you need the, the three outputs. And then one thing I did do off camera that I forgot to mention was I set up um, more, 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 more iron plates. So there are a few machines running up top making more plates because I was just bottlenecking on that really hard building this. All right, so... We have everything hooked up. We just need to uh, combine the right things and split the right things. Uh, so these ones are easy. Those are just 90 degree turns. This one is easy. It's the ones in the middle that get a little more complicated. 
Okay, that was a, a spaghetti fiasco. Um, <laughs> but let's see, we have all of our inputs hooked up. Uh, this, the middle one is a little bit of a, a, a lot of bit of a mess, but that's okay. Um, now I just need to hook up the outputs. So if we, what I did here was I got four inputs. So it's going to all flow into these two spots on the wall. The four conveyor lines. Two are going this way and are very neatly, uh, very neatly organized. They just go straight into their, into their splitters. And then two are, uh, spaghetti central. They just go into splitters over here and then, ah, everywhere. But it's hooked up. It works. So now I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with these mergers. I think I'm going to take them out over here. Because trying to get past the spaghetti maze is going to be very difficult, if not impossible. I'm just going to route these straight down, I think. I think that'll be much easier. So let's see. Uh, conveyor floor hole. And then a Mark III conveyor lift. And we'll do the same over here. Now that we've got that done, we can just seal that up and we don't even have to ever look at that ever again. Uh, so these should all be working. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Alrighty, all the settings are copied. And the last thing to do before we can just decorate is to plug everything into power. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do... I'm just going to stick one power pole in front of each of these. And then string these together. Because these can only connect to seven machines. Which is, like, just not enough. If I had the, uh, the Mark three power research, we'd be fine. But I don't think we can do that just yet. Alrighty, and we're all plugged in. Not the cleanest thing, but, uh, at least it looks organized. So all we have to do is plug these in, and they should be ready to take, uh, take resources. Let's head down to the first factory layer down here. All right, so these are all of our uh, outputs. I find my center point, which I think is six foundations. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a column of uh, resources. I'm going to do the same on the other side, I think. And that way I can just easily bring stuff down and get things going. Alrighty, so just about done. I just want to print off some tickets and go into our shop and buy some windows. Where are the windows? Under walls? Yeah, so we have seven tickets. I want to spend three of them on walls or on the windows. And then we have four more. Can we do anything with four more tickets? I don't think so. Uh, we can get some lights. Let's do that. And then if I just go grab some silica and quartz real quick. Quartz and some silica, and we should be good. Now let's go take a look at what we've got done. We have our smelters done and wired up. So those just need to be fed um, through here. The raw resources. And then those will come down here. And down here... This is going to be our uh, raw resource uh, bus. Anyway, I'm going to put some windows here so we can see the resources going down. And then on this opposite side here, this is going to be our 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 uh, 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 other resource bus. So raw resources and then finished products going down. And I think that'll work. And as we take resources from here to to uh, do the factory stuff, we can replace them with the uh, other stuff. So I think two lanes of resources is going to be plenty. Or two foundations worth of lanes, I should say. But anyway, that's, that's going to do it for now. This is kind of a long episode because I spent a lot of time just kind of... Just kind of screwing around with stuff. Um... 
but hopefully next episode we'll actually get some production going in there now that we have all the smelting set up and ready. But if you're enjoying the video, hit me with that like. You got any suggestions or questions or anything about what I'm up to, let me know. Leave a comment. And if you're enjoying the playthrough and you want some more, hit that subscribe button. But thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. Let me eh, stuck.